Guys, I think I've done it. I think I figured it out. I have been trying and trying to get my hooks to float. I finally found a material that we can use to manipulate these hooks so that they float. So you will no longer have to put floats on the rigs, beads on the rigs to attract tension. It'll all be right there on the hook. It's less tackle. It's more action in the surf. I can't wait to get these into use. Going right now, you're gonna come along with me for this adventure. This is the first time I'm ever using this rig. I'm so excited because I believe it'll work just as long as the fish are there. The fish are there, I don't see how they could resist this. This is the prototype. This is the Sandman surf fishing rig. It'll catch you whiting, pompano, redfish. This is it. I figured it out. I'm gonna show you this rig. Ah, I, let's go. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. This is the coolest thing I've done in a while, I think. For one, I have yet to see fish bites trading post lit up in lights. Look at this thing. This thing's awesome looking. It's like Christmas over here. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful. I'm getting my ice, okay? We're going to twice the ice, getting the ice. It's right here on the premise, only $2.20 pound bag for two bucks uh, i'm going out with the sinker guy today i've got chip brundage he's a good buddy uh we're gonna test out some surf rigs that i've created and uh, see if he likes them or not but uh it's it's gonna change the game we're floating the hooks the hooks are floating so the fish are now biting um the hooks instead of the floats because i know a lot of you guys and myself included have had a hard time with these uh, pompano coming through and hitting and and any fish like the Spanish mackerel and uh, the bluefish and all those fish they'll hit the float and then take your rig and you're like yeah and you're screaming you're running for your pole and um, this should alleviate that we've got um, got some new floats some new floats I can't even uh, that's what it looks like yep 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 and it goes right on the hook and you'll see and oh we got somebody we got somebody where, where are you going? Where are you going? See? He was curious too. He wanted to know. But let's get some ice. Come on, eh? It'd help if I had a crispy dollar bill. Fish? Right there. Fish bites. Voila. Go. Morning, Chip. Oh, you're on the phone. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? How you doing? I'm good. You? Good to see you. You catching them? Cart's rolling away. Oh. <laughs> That's, what, get, That's get how wheelies, easy it is. Get wheelies. Get wheelies. Get wheelies yeah. It's not even a minute. It's beautiful. Right? Yeah. We got ladyfish so far, and uh, there's been lots of bait. Lots of bait popping off. Yeah, this is nice. This is a nice little run out right there. There's a nice run out right there. Yep. Yeah. All right, I'm walking this package down to Chip now. Chip's down there. All right, I'm, I'm giving Chip the Sandman. He, he wants me to record this, so that's cool. But uh, this, this is actually just for you, to, for your knowledge of like okay. when and when I gave it to you, what the date is, when we're using it. But uh, check it out, man, if you like it. Cool. This is uh, Use it. Um, the float rig designed by Mike Cook, baby. Yeah. Okay. The St. Augustine Sandman yeah. on YouTube, baby. The Sandman rig, man. And uh, Chip, <laughs> sell it, sell it, man. Sell it, sell it, sell uh, it. Here it is. And then I uh, hopefully you got this new sticker in here. Oh, buddy! Woo! Look at this, baby. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. So this is, I like it. I like it. I like it. It's even color coded. I like it. I like yeah, it. so you're gonna have to like test it out and, and manipulate it in the best of your liking make it your own we will we will figure out how it works best yeah 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 i mean you yeah, i'm fish. giving it to the doctor but that but this is the float rig that i've come up with and i haven't seen anybody else out there chip doing this so i agree with you so this is this is the first time first ever seeing it here right now mm -hmm. i even put an sm on it sandman mm -hmm. I thought it meant small. It's uh, hey, the sand man it is. Small I mean, monkey. <laughs> I thought it was a small float. I don't, I don't yeah. know if you might be going with a big, big float. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, so it's that that material floats. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, the, the fish are hopefully bite that instead it's of your made. floats. Yeah, I handmade that rig. So, I mean, obviously you put it on like a Bruno rig and mix, mix and match colors and stuff. And I'll get with you to tell you what, what, the, um, what that's made out of. Okay. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, Pompano. Hey, He's on the Pompano. All right. Pompano. We're going. We're going. Let's see this Pompano. Come on, baby. <clears throat> All right. Terry. Oh, that's a big one. Big one. Woo, hey, it's big. <laughs> yeah. On the float rig. I was just showing Chip. Oh, we got to measure this guy up. Here, I'll hold this. Good job, Terry. Nice finding that. Do you have anything on that other rod? No. We're over there screaming at you. We thought there was something on it. Probably seaweed. That is a good size pop, guys. Nice pop. Yeah, that's a nice one. Woo! Nice catch, Terry. You caught it. I just rolled it in. <laughs> right. All right, he's, he's almost 12 and a half to the fork. We put him back. Chip's not gonna like this. We're putting a Pompano, Keeper Pompano back in the water. Woo, we're gonna let this guy live as a sign of good faith. There you go, buddy. I give him the sideways toss so the water goes right in his gills immediately. It's gone. Swimming off. Nice catch, Terry. Yeah. Hey, thanks for manning my pole, dude. I, Always got you, buddy. It's why you got to have a fishing buddy right here. <laughs> Sitting there talking to Chip about the float rig. Yeah? Yeah, he loves it. Oh, here we go. This is the proper way to hook your uh, sand flea. Don't, don't shove it all the way through or you get unlucky. Because all you do is you expose the eggs. So, if you see it, but just make sure you just send that through just a little bit. Right like that, boom. And then when they go to bite that, they're gonna bite the whole thing. And it's closest to the barb. And the barb is what hooks the fish. Uh, it's supposed to be a really good day for surf fishing. So, we got a, the salooner activity also. I mean, whatever, it's... Yeah, that means they might... Well, it's the, the bite's supposed to be extremely hot right this second for another 30 minutes. According to the salooner activity, but I don't know. They might be chewing out a little deeper. All right, guys, these are the brand new rigs. What you've been wanting to see? Here we go. This is the pink. The pink float rigs. This is a piece of uh, two-year-old baloney. Just kidding, it's not baloney. It's a uh, number two pencil eraser. Just kidding, it's not even a pencil eraser. It is a float. There we go. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna attach a four ounce sinker guy Sputnik. I need the sun to come up. I know this video is kind of dark. Got our coast lock. For all of you who've seen this kind of stuff before, this is for all the people who haven't. Okay, so, but there you go. Just throw the coast lock on there, just like that. Snap it in. Make sure it's locked. I have lost Sputniks. Learning the hard way. But here we go, two watt circle hook. We got our pink floats. I'm gonna tie it on to this 30 pound braid right here. On my Spin Fisher 6 over the bar rod also paired it with that and uh, I'm just gonna tie it on here using a um, improved clench knot let's get to fishing this is the bait of choice today the easy shrimp the pink and we got easy flea that's that's what we're gonna go with we're gonna cut little tiny squares no bigger than that <laughs> It's, a, it's probably another catfish. Oh, Maybe not. That fell down. No, no catfish does do that. Sometimes. Oh, 
I don't know. No head shakes. Dang it. No left to right run. See, I get big head shakes from those gaff top sails. Yeah. And I and and from hard heads. But the difference is, Mike, is you catch one that's big. I'm catching these little ones. <laughs> You're still yeah. recording, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll delete it. I don't know. Oh no, this is just a little guy. Whoa! Or it's a little bitty whitey. Or it is not definitely. Is it tarpon bait? That's the question. Is it tarpon bait? Oh. We need some tarpon bait. You know what I don't know is if tarpon eat catfish. That's a great question. I, I mean, I'll call him up and ask him, but I doubt it. Yeah. Well, Pel have, pelicans won't even eat catfish. You'd have to, you'd have to be able to uh, touch it before you could bait it. So you must have had this thing way out there. Out in the old super highway. This little fish is going for the ride of its life. <laughs> it's been. <laughs> Oh, look at this! Look at this! Look I at think this I think I think we got a whiting. We got an eater. Oh! oh we got an eater. We got a good Woo one. Yeah, there you go. Not there it is. Yeah, Sitting here talking cool. trash. We got a good fish. Yeah, we thought this. I, we thought you were a catfish, buddy. You're not a catfish. You're one of the best fit eating fish of the sea. That's a whiting. We're gonna keep this guy. Look at that. Beautiful. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Nice. <laughs> and your other rod's going off. Your other rod's going off. He's doubled up. He's Woo, doubled he up. up. Thank God you got your hip replaced or knee replaced. <laughs> See what we got? This is like crap. I've got four rods down there not doing anything. He's in the money spot right here. Chip I just listened to, to Mike. It. Mike said I caught fish here yesterday or last week. You know what I did? I just sat right there. I just listened to him. I don't have too much pride. I just, if somebody caught fish there, I want to fish there. Yeah, we caught fish here the other day, but uh, Chip, as we're walking up, he noticed, he noticed uh, how, how good this, it's like a part of a run out. And there's fish in it. There's catfish in it too, but, but there are fish in it. So we're catching the fish that are here. Everybody wants that pompano, but guess what? We just want to catch fish and we do want pompano too, but We'll catch what we can catch. Oh, oh, oh we got, oh, you you might, oh, whoa. He is jumping in the surf. It's running, it's running like a palomeda or pompano. Is it a redfish? Bring it in. It's, it's pompano. It's pompano. Pompano. Yeah, that's what we're here for. Yeah, that's what we're here right, for. We got lucky. One more time, we get lucky. Woo! You know, it's not a monster, but, but that's hey, our it's, target. It's still one, baby. Yep, still that, one. that chip's still He's beating me. It's gonna be light right at eleven, I think. I will we'll measure real quick. Look at that. I mean, that's... Oh, he's, he's right at 11. Mm. Oh, you couldn't keep it. He's, 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 he's a little small. Shrink. He's gonna shrink, and there ain't a whole lot of meat on him. No. But he is beautiful. Until the next time. Oh, uh, I gotta get on this side. Hopefully, it's not that sea robin. That would be a massive sea robin. <laughs> I don't know how much action is in that tip. Uh, it's pretty. It's, it's nice. This is the bullet. Uh, it, it had oh, a it had a pompano. This is the original over the bar rod, as a matter of fact. Oh, it's stuck down there in the bottom. The original over the bar rod. This is be, This was the first one ever made. Oh, my rods are going off down there. Uh oh. I'm reeling. I'm a, hurry up and reel that thing in. You need an electric <laughs> reel. Let's go. It's probably just nothing. And then, you, then you're going to be standing here. I'm for standing there. I'm, well, I'm not going to miss any fish because uh, they're, they're biting my float rigs. Well, well the best best thing is, is you got a circle hook on, so it should stay on. You still I, I do. Here. Yeah, I do have circle hooks. Oh, my god. Size 2 ot. I think I might have missed that one. Oh, okay. Well, that's right. I'm going to run down there and check this one out. <laughs> We got another sea robin. Wow. These guys have been in my videos a lot lately, but there is something I didn't show you about the sea robin. I do want to show you something. All right. Do you see the spines right on the tip of his wing there? Let's see if I can get a better lighting. Right, 
right on the tip of that wing. Those spines have venom. Spines have venom in there. You do not want to get poked by that. They're right on his like gill plate. You do not want to get poked by that. They're right on his like gill plate. Oh, there we go. This is a good one. Keep it pinned. Come on, baby. <laughs> this might be another jack, the way it's running. Now this looks like a jack because it has the black spot to it. See, now this one has that, that black spot. Right. That's a dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. Get this guy back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chip's got to head out. He's got to go fill some big, big orders up and down the coast. Did you notice my shirt? Oh yeah, I love it, baby. I love it. Look at this. Sinker guy shirt right here, man. I'm a big fan too, so it's a it's a star star moment, you know, star starstruck moment to fish with the, the man himself. I've learned a lot from Chip, uh, and you you can learn a lot from Chip too. Chip does seminars, sinkerguy.com, uh, sinker guy on Facebook. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, he's it, if you know me, you probably already know this guy. So there, I should even have to tell you that. There's no introduction needed. We're excited to be on the channel, man. Yeah. Again, I love it. I love it. Yeah, we, we fish together. This is probably our, like, third third time fishing yeah. together. We talk on the phone all the time, you know, like, like Chatty Cathy's and stuff. <laughs> so. Don't feel mad now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Um, but anyway, if you can learn a lot, go to his seminars. Um, him and the Spencer, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, Spencer, I can't even say Brogdon. I would say yeah. Brogdon. Like, Brogdon. What's up, bro? <laughs> yeah, Spencer Brogdon and uh, Chip Brundage. They'll host um, fishing seminars, and you can check it out on his website, his Facebook page. Chip goes live a lot, too, on Facebook, so make sure to like his Facebook page, and you'll see um, all the cool new contraptions, things. I mean, you can see by his cart right now, he, he's a serious man. Yes, sir. Yeah, that, <laughs> I mean, he's a, he's a tournament, tournament guy, so these guys, they're hardcore. Um, I'm more recreation. I love to have fun and just teach you how to fish with your kids and stuff and uh i love fishing with chip he's a great guy keep, keep watching his channel he's got some great stuff i, I watch every video so i'm a fan so i'm the big yeah see we're, we're fans <laughs> of each other man and we're a small community here in northeast florida and we love each other we support each other we hold each other up and uh anytime you come through do not hesitate to um uh, comment on our videos and we'll get back to you we actually answer our comments unlike other youtube channels you know we actually do get back yeah, to you so absolutely. so we strive we strive for excellence on that part hey come fishing with us that's the fun part come fishing baby come fishing there's lots of good fishing here so if you want to learn how to fish you want to fish with us let us know mike and i will uh get out there together with you enjoy i would love that all right see Peace. you thank you mike yeah buddy bye bye we're gonna use some shrimp for this experiment here Okay, would you mind taking the camera for me? Walk around. Okay, so we got the shrimp. So this is an actual shrimp. This is not false shrimp, okay? Just want you to see for purposes. So same weight. I'm gonna use the same weight. I'm gonna start with this one. Okay, you got four pieces of shrimp. Follow me this way. Come on. Trip on anything. Like volleyball or something. Yeah, there. Okay, so this rig right here is your standard rig. It's a basic drop rig with a bead and a two watt circle hook. Okay? I'm gonna put a piece of shrimp on this. Okay. This rig here, same thing, two watt circle hook, bead, and a float. This is your basic rig. This is the rig you're gonna buy in any tackle shop or uh, online or whatever. They're gonna give you these kind of floats, this kind of bead behind the hook, okay? 
that's great. That's a great attractant. All right. I'm gonna move on to the Sandman float. So this is a float right on the hook. Okay. We're gonna use the same weighted piece of shrimp. Go right through the hook. It exposes a little bit of the hook there. You see? And now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you what this is gonna look like underwater, okay? We're gonna do one on top of the water and then I'm gonna show you underneath the water. So first we're gonna start with the normal, the everyday float rig, okay? This is the one that we've all dealt with in our surf fishing career. So I'm gonna just throw it in here. Uh, it, it's gonna it's gonna move manipulate and move you can it's hard to see through the water I know but these are the store-bought rigs the normal rigs that you buy they're kind of even with the float a shrimp piece of shrimp is still uh, pretty heavy underwater this one this one's on top of the water and a fish's fish's fight or flight response if a wave comes by and and takes this float a fish is going to attack this every time. And what we were having problems with on all the rigs I would buy at stores, we would lose, you would have things like this happen. See how that, that float is bit? How we're having bite marks in it? I don't know if you can see this on camera or not. I'm sure you can at home. Um, so what would happen is these would be underwater like this and the fish are doing exactly what they're told to do. We put an attracted on here. We're saying, hey, come get this. This is what you want to hit. This is attractant. So they are hitting it. So what I've done is decided to put the float on the hook with this material. And uh, it, it now, if they do want to hit the attractor, the thing that's attracting the fish, they want to hit it, they're going to hit it. And it's also got a hook in there. Surprise, you know, so that's that it's a game changer man this is going to change the game of surf fishing and i swear by it and with uh the sinker guy chip him and i are going to work together on this project uh and my buddy terry we're uh, going into production with these and it, it it will change the game of surf fishing all you uh competitive pompano fishermen um it will i don't know sorry sorry i'm putting the secret out there that i created this because uh if you're trying to catch some big pompano this is Chances are, I mean, we had 10 fish. Out of 10 fish, we caught two pompano, okay? On the regular rig. On the regular rig, on this rig, which is above the hook, we caught two pompano, and I say 10 fish because we had 10 hits. We got to keep two pompano. And when I used the float rig, we kept every single fish. I mean, there was catfish, there was all sorts of species, but we kept all of them they all stayed on the hook. They all didn't just bite the float and run away. So that's, I'm giving that 80%, we'll catch 80% more fish using a float rig. The Sandman, the Sandman float rig, right here, right here. Okay, just, just, keep, just keep an eye on that real quick. It's a rig, here's this one going in. They just want to float out of the water. I can't, there's nothing I can do about it. Maybe I'll toss it back further. Let me just talk. This thing's about to float to the surface. There's nothing I can do. This is, my, this is not working the way I wanted it to work. I'm trying to make it it's not, it's not float shallow. out of the water. I know, it's so shallow. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta hold it lower. That's how that's how much it wants to float out of the water. Like what? Like right to the surface, right to the surface. Oh, and there's a bug. See, bugs trying to get to it. All right. And now I'm going to show you footage underneath the water. What the difference looks like. All right. So here I'm grabbing the traditional float and bead rig. Just gonna show you where the the leader line is attached to basically the snood and how this rig is like kind of just dropped down not even floating it's just kind of now that that's the float rig this is the 
you see how it's attached and it's just kind of sinking and the float is the only thing that's floating and the float is what gets attacked by the pompano and other fish blue fish um lady fish they all hit that float but the sandman float rig see how it just floats up right there from the snood just comes right up floats to the surface and if a wave i'm trying to make wave motions with the water but it's kind of difficult cut to specific size with the sandman it's the saint augustine sandman has invented a float rig for pompano fishing and just to prove to you the date here's my son's ipad i believe it says it right there okay tuesday august 22nd it's 10 3 p.m and uh yeah i've made a bunch of different colors anyway i just wanted to make that so it is uh today it is tuesday august 22nd and tomorrow morning i'm going fishing with chip brundage the sinker guy and this is his pack this is for chip i'm giving him a couple uh promotional um prototypes and i want to i mean he can he can make his own rigs but i just want him to put saint augustine sandman invented it some or anybody, if anybody sells them or makes them, I just wanted to say, this is the Sandman rig, okay? St. Augustine Sandman, that's me. I just want it, I created it, it's my idea for these floats, and I hope that everybody catches fish, hope that everybody catches, uh, stops missing the bite, because apparently all these hooks um, aren't getting bit, the floats are getting bit. So this alleviates that, this takes, this takes uh, the game out. So you put the hook through. This is my idea. You put the hook through this, and then it comes out looking just like this, coming right out. And there's enough room for the fish to bite it, and uh, it floats. The hooks float, so you won't have to put floats on your rigs anymore, and they'll bite the hook instead of your float, and you'll catch more fish. This is going to change the game of surf fishing. It's a Sandman rig, guys. Here it comes. Put me sail, sail away.